Hi guys, it's Yard Log 19. I haven't done one for a while because I've been so busy around ya. To be honest though, I'm trying to get a place sorted because uh, I had a bit of a deadline. First of April, I had to be all cleaned up so they could assess what work had to be done on the farmhouse, the landlord. So they're happy, they're coming back in June, that's when the work starts. And it'll be a hell of a lot of work, so I will do some videos as well on that. Uh, well, you see them in the, in, the, in the vlog videos, progress. I'll go through a lot in a minute anyway, but it, it's a lot of work going to be done, yeah. I've done a lot myself, flat out, to be honest though. So this video, I've just been draining, i got a um, bit of a digger for a few days, so I'm making the most of it. Putting some uh, electric to my chicken coop, uh, new water. I've done uh, some water system in my chicken coop as well. So... I'll show you that as well in a minute. Um, yeah, and the cow, the, the drain away in the cow shed. I was blocked. So I want to get it all working as it should be before I get the animals back. But, uh, let's have a look then. Start first then. Let's have a look. Well, for a start, as you first, it was obviously the corner of the farm. Yeah? Oh, I've cut the branches off the tree. I've had a nightmare with this tree, to be honest though. You might think, why haven't I done it yet? I'll tell you why. I cut the branches off, as you can see, all the limbs. So I've done that. So I'm happy enough with that. But what it is, the gas company, let me go back a bit. So what it is, we've got a gas regulator over there, in there, and the roots are pushing against it. Look how the wall has been pushed over, all the pressure in there. So I've been in touch with the gas company, they come out. They're not happy with it, they're going to move it. So you imagine all the roots going around the, the gas pipe and all that. So I thought, alright, I'll hang fire a minute now until they come into it. And that was like a month ago, six weeks ago. So that's why I didn't bother. Um, so I'll chase them up again now because they're going to move it back there somewhere because I'm going to widen up this corner slightly then and put the wall back up. So so wait there for, just waiting. But I have got it recorded. Well, I uh, cut off there, the limbs. But because uh, in case it come down at the ground hard, that's what I'm worried about. Let's say I have to tie it up or something so I can catch the chunks as they come in down. Because you've got the gas pipe running under you. I don't want to disturb it too much. If that hit the ground really hard. Um, so there's a few issues at the moment with this. But um, I'll video it as soon as I do it. Anyway, so as soon as you come round, you'll notice the boat has gone. It's a lot cleaner by you. You can see the yard. We've moved a hell of a lot of stuff. I just broke the floor now with a mini digger turning and ripped up the, the tarmac by there. That's not good. But, uh, so anyway, boat gone from there. You can see I just got to tidy that up and tidy the front of that shed up. I might actually, we had a building here years ago. So I might build something nice here, a concrete block or something in the future. Something way and tidy up that edge or, or tin sheet eh? and paint it all up. A lot of ideas. So, but let's get in there. Eh? Round you, moved a hell of a lot of stuff by you there was. I guess I've still got a lot to do. We moved all the caravans from by there. As you can see. I've been levelling out the ground. Because it was all stones and it was bloody horrible stuff it was there. Down here, behind you, it's still a mess there. Eh? So I'm going to knock all that down eventually. And put a new building up by there like. I said, it's still a mess down there, but this is where I've been sorting. But, uh, I got an, an old, a new old vintage trailer. I like all my old stuff. You might think it looks a mess, but it's a tidy enough trailer. Uh, just wants to paint it, does. Rub it down and paint it. Got the old international out again now. She's working, working hard for a keep. Old Ferguson trailer. What model is it? 717. So it was the old wooden trailer, as far as I can see. The wooden slatted one, I'm sure of it. And someone have just put a um, steel body on it. So it's got brand new tyres on it, new hydraulic pipe. It's got a little bit of welding to do up the front. Pretty solid. Solid thing. Like I said, new tyres. So I'll rub that down and uh, tidy it up. Tip's tidy. Well, it's handy because i got a massive figure someone up there as well. Uh, the seals are gone in there. So I'm looking for is up there if anyone got one. This is the old 12 stud 
Massey Ferguson wheels. See them? Anyone got a, a grease cap there? A big one. See about yeah? It'd be great if someone uh, did know one of them. We'll put it on here, stop it filling up with uh, mud, or I'll just uh, make something for it. So we still got all this area here, this is what I haven't cleaned yet. But I'll show you what I have done in a minute. Just a quick walk on with you. I've got to cut a lot of bramble yet, up that edge out there, and put a fence. So I've got a fence all the way up there. So I will do a video on fencing. Well, so I'm pretty good on fencing, I uh, enjoy doing it as well. I do the right way with the straighteners and all that, old fashioned way. Oh, I dug a trench across there, drainage, with the digger. So no gates I am. Need to find a lot of gates, but it's so expensive. It's like 75 hundred pound a gate, galvanised gate. I need a lot of them, you know, still, of course. So anyway, you can see, it's getting there. A lot of difference by that. Still got a bit of stuff we had to do. Let me turn the camera around. Yeah, I just dug this floor up here now. Right now, this morning. Turning around. As you can see, a lot different. A lot cleaner. Right, in here. Put a water pipe for the chickens. And electric down here. So they'll be tidy. Um, and drainage for the cow shed. To soak away. That's what we do this morning. So here's the drain I done. Here's my wire. My armoured cable. My alcatine pipe. So there's a, a line down there yesterday. So it's been tracking this morning, level down a bit. So I got that coming through by now, tidy. So that's down yeah. Just gotta dig it by hand for the last bit in by there. Um, I've been doing my, my water system, which is a bit over the top, to be honest, though. A bit of a strange way of catching the rainwater. It's actually cost me 80 quid on fittings. But it'll be a, um, a self-flowing system. So as it rains, I will go into this on a, my next part two on my chicken coop too much. Uh, more detail. But this is like trial and error at the moment. So I'll have water here, pressurised water. And most of it be rainwater, that's what we catch in. But I didn't, my chickens are used to having like a, like a bowl, like a, like a, like a container drinking out of. I will try the other things in the future, the nozzles and all that. But um, this way anyway, I'll show what I mean. So as the water comes in the trough, continuous feed into this, this year, which will act like this. So be continuous flow into there as it's raining, and then it'll be going out then, which I'm going to do a, gut, uh, a soak away here now, with pipe through there. You see it coming out here now. Yeah. So I'll be continuously flowing through there all the time when it's raining, topping it up for them as they're drinking it. And if, I, if it's not raining and I want to just add a bit more up, I've got storage in there, and that's what this does. Right. So, uh, quite impressive, I will, I think. But like I said, 80 quid so far. I was just on fittings and all that. They're quite expensive, them uh, plastic push, push fits. And i got to get more yet. I already had the dark caffeine stuff. But I crack back on this now. So I'm happy with that. We pull that in across there. I put electric by here as well for the new dog kennel. It's well shed. It's gonna go in here for the two dogs. Um, we're changing all the shape of this. I'm knocking our wall down there. Oh, have you noticed? I knocked all the wall down here. Took all the wall away. So it creates up a lot more room by yeah. Let's go in the cow shed first. In here, clean all this out. 
the old Burr Passage, the Burr as they call these. And I'll do a small loose box for you, for, for calves. Knock that out, and on fence across here, uh, gates across here, which they come through there and they go in there, diverted there. I might open that back up as a, as a barn, to get into the barn. Still going outside, in the rain, for A. And I have just a petition here. They come in to do a lot of work here in June. All this has got to be rebuilt back up. Up there, the rafters are broke. I've got to empty all this out yet. Hey, by then, this is pretty much where it was before. So anyway, in here, it's got to soak away. Under here, it's got to soak away. So when the cows are standing there, six cows were there, I might have one on the other side there, seven decks, there's six or seven mothers, continuously, like, carving. So it soaks away, it goes through under there, you can't see it. We'll go outside now, I'll show you what I've done. The old one is there. See the pipe? Old clay pipe. So that's there. He used to come out of there and he used to soak under this this um, concrete here, this concrete slab, the walkway over there. But it blocked. Just blocked up. It would just soak away in the field it would. Not that much comes out of there really. But when you wash it, it goes liquidy and just, just runs out. So I didn't want to rip all our slab up, so while I had the digger for a few days, I put this pipe in. So that's a tidy job now. I, make, um, I just blocked it with the stone. So I'm going to make a, a nice like a, a brick or concrete uh, cement trough channel across there. With like a gully with the top on where it will all be sealed up it will. So nothing get in it, but I can still rod it if I have to or inspect it. So definitely want to do that so I can get it there and work with it. I haven't backfilled it yet, so it comes down here. And i got to dig this now Monday. It's Sunday. I've been on it since, since half six this morning. I'm going to sort a few things out. So the digger's going back Tuesday. I'm going to make this now, big hole, dig it out more, fill it with stone, big stone. And I think that'll work as a, as a sink throat, uh, soak away and the field will have nourishment then because there's manure coming out and there's not much of it like I said I could have done a gully by here but I know it is if it needs digging up every so often I don't mind every few years and just get it going again so that's the way I need to go big stones fill it up big wall stone so we can soak through it into the ground and uh, go from there big gates are going on here them gates there so it'll be 20 foot wide here, post, post, that's why I knocked the corner of the wall out. So I'll build the wall tidy, cement the corner up tidy as well. And I'm nice opening then to get into, because I'm making this uh, an olden area for the cows here, which will, will be quite big in here, before they go into the, into the cow shed. So I can have a, a cattle crush attached to it then. So when the vet comes in, do the TB test, um, it's just more controllable than it used to be because there was nothing other than unless we locked them in there before we had no, no control of them other than putting gates across temporary stuff I'm going to do a permanent a good like a pen like a cow pen outside one so it's getting there like I said still I have a lot to do i got to do a lot of weed killing kill all the bramble across the wall there I'm moving that wall back there so it'll be 20 foot gap there as well so we can drive tractor and trailer cattle trailer whatever on a jeep in and out here as well then Right, so I still haven't finished the front wall, that little wall. I've been doing a long time. But I will get uh, round to that now, next few weeks. So I've still got to finish this wall. I painted the front of the farm, which looks pretty nice. Got little bits to, to render, and then uh, touch them up then. It took some doing mine because I had to scrape it all off. So I still got my way across there. Oh, I painted this guy dish as well, so it blends in. Not so rusty. Don't it? It's a bit more kept, a bit more lived in. I only cut one bit of grass this year so far, that's the front of the just to tidy up a bit like. But um I'll get going again with all that now. Load of stone here, dry stone wall, all in, I took down. And there. I'll be 
be doing more A this year as well, so I'll be sorting another field out over there. Getting that ready. Like, like I said, I'm getting some more, getting lambs as well. Some wild lands, like October, November. Time to looking some. If I can see them, I know where they are. I'm getting them. Well, it's getting there. It's got to wash the roof off, but it's gone on there. Paint all the windows again, then. It's messy stuff, the old white lime. Got a paint in the porch as well. Gotta do this side. There's so much to do. Just gotta do it, don't we? Don't do it too long. We'll talk about some of the work that's gonna be done on the house now. So, as you can imagine, very old, well, very old farm, farmhouse. So, you know, no, never had no central eating. The only eating is two open fires and a gas fire in the kitchen from another room. So, you know, no new electrics, water, uh, all digging up the yard, yeah, they put an all new sewage in, you name it, everything. So, I have an all new electrics. New central heat in, but the best bit is, is having a new shower room in there. New shower room in the old dairy, that's just a sink in there. It's all be brand new pipe work, uh, old brand new plumbing. That's going to be knocked down there. Eh? My old man, my father's old conservatory, see the dog in there? Oh, dog's in there. So it'll be a brand new utility room, but there that'll be. New doors, new window, new door, everything. So we tidy. And the boiler will go in here then. It'll be slightly smaller because they want to get to that old pipe on the wall there. That vent, vent pipe. Um, I'm having new electrics outside, which I'm happy about. So there'll be new electrics in the barn, new electrics in the cow shed. Well, the buyer, the buyer uh, passage, as you call it. Um, lights under here, storm light under there. You name it, they go in. They go in full works. Each doorway will have lights over there as well. Um, new sockets and water in there as well. New water, new taps in here. Um, once the last one in, be nice. They can paint all the outside and go round there. So they're doing work on here. They're fixing this. We're just pushing out there. Um, don't know if they're going to put new fascia on this side, but they can get at it now. That's why to really sort it out. Move all my stuff. I still gotta clear this bit away by here. Mad one now. Like I said, June they're coming back. So this will all be tidy then for them so they can assess it. That's why I've done this water now and the, the electric. So hopefully they can join up for me then because they put in brand new secondary fuse box in here. There should be new trip switches in here. So I can join my wire in or they can do it for me, whichever. So that's why I put the, the wire in place. So there'll be new pipe work in here, to you, I don't know how they're going to come, like a thing or whatever. And hopefully I can join my pipe to it then, or, that, or they join it for me. So, it's getting there, I'm happy. I'll leave it there then for a minute. But uh, like I said, I've got a lot of ideas, I've got a lot of stuff still to do, i still got that triumph in there. I know i got to get on it and do it. I will be doing videos now and I'm painting it too. i still got a lot of tree work to do, i just got so much to do. So that all the videos will be coming out on it. They will be coming. Um, some more, another one on, on chicken coop. More into detail when I do a bit more on it. But yeah, I'm happy enough. It's going all right. Again, eh? Well, here we are. I've updated you on a fair bit of stuff, I think. And I can see what I've been up to. I haven't done many videos lately, so I've been busy. I just haven't had the head. My head have been into this so much. Trying to... Um, get it sorted like but um, so I start doing normal stuff now I'll be doing videos on it definitely well there we are I'll leave it there please like and subscribe thanks for watching cheers